Hello, I'm Darren Beebe. I'm sales manager with Halcyon Drives. We're an ABB authorised value provider and we're based in Leeds in West Yorkshire. What is PID loop control? Lots of things need to be controlled. If your car speeds up or slows down, you'll need to correct it so that it comes back to the speed you want. Many of today's machines are controlled not by people, but automatic systems that keep them doing what they should do to achieve the right result. But it still all goes back to people. In 1922, an engineer called Nicholas Minorsky was designing automatic steering systems for the US Navy. He noticed that helmsmen control the ship based not only on the current error, but also past error, as well as the current rate of change. Minorsky came up with the mathematics that described these actions and laid the foundation for today's PID controllers. But what does PID mean? P stands for proportional, I for integral, and D for derivative. How do they work? Imagine driving your car along a flat, straight road, trying to maintain 30 miles per hour. You alternately depress and release the accelerator pedal according to the speed on the speedometer. Here you form part of a feedback loop and are using proportional control to maintain your desired speed. What if the car suddenly starts climbing a steep hill? The speed rapidly drops off, so we need to apply a lot of accelerator quickly to counteract this sudden drop in speed. The faster the speed is dropping, the more acceleration we apply. This is derivative control. So, if we have a large difference in target and actual speed, we use a proportional control to apply a correction. If we suddenly change the speed, the derivative control is used. However, if we only have a small fixed error between target speed and actual speed, the proportional element is too small to be effective and because there is no change in speed, the derivative contribution is zero. So this small error stays uncorrected. What we need is something that comes more into play the longer the error exists, however small it is. The constant error of even a fraction of an MPH will accumulate until it is big enough that we need to take corrective action. This is called integral control. In industry, we use PID loops to control the process, be they simple or complex. ABB drives contain PID loops that can be used to control the level of water in a tank, the pressure of a fluid in a pipe, or the accurate speed of a moving or extruded product. Indeed, any quantity provided the drive can be given feedback from a suitable transducer. So, when you are looking to improve the performance of your process, consider controlling the quantity that is critical to your application with a PID loop and a variable speed drive.